I use my digital calipers for a lot of things here in the shop, and as long as I've been using them, I completely missed something super useful that was hidden and yet right in front of my face the whole time. And it turns out, all I had to do was flip them over to the back side. Now we've all used, or at least seen someone else use the large jaws for measuring outside dimensions. The small jaws measure inside dimensions easily, and the depth gauge works, at least for most situations, for checking depth. Using the depth gauge can be sort of awkward and difficult to handle at times, but if you turn it over, at least on the ones that I have, there's a step gauge. Slide the jaws open, hold the fixed section firmly against the lower part of whatever you're measuring, and then slide the movable jaw down until it touches the top. This works a heck of a lot better for some things because there's more surface area to measure from than the depth gauge provides, so you don't have to try and balance it and get your measurement at the same time. Now, it seemed kind of silly to make this video because I thought, dang, everybody but me probably already knows this, but I'm sure there's at least a few of you that can benefit from it somehow. Now I have to get back to routing, so I'll see you in the next video.